Hello everyone. In this video, I will be explaining how to use the pen tool, which is the most important tool in Photoshop. So, I have opened uh, two pictures. One is of a light uh, house, and another one is of a baby girl. Uh, and few other images are open here. Now, <coughs> uh, if you see these the photos you know the background here is somewhat different from every photo so I, I want to pick a particular object or one image for example in this picture I want to keep only this lighthouse I want to remove the background so there are many techniques in Photoshop which you can use to remove the background so one is your background uh, eraser tool and uh, by using control and uh, open or closing flower bracket tool you can resize the brush size and you see uh, when you click on the edge there is a plus mark in the uh, inside that circle so that is the picker actually and you can resize the tolerance that means the color range it selects so that can be uh, adjusted <coughs> here <coughs> okay so just go on clicking on the uh, on that color and you will find uh, the background is uh, erasing now okay <coughs> okay so go on clicking on the edge don't click inside the uh, that lighthouse picture because it removes that uh, pixel otherwise so this way you can erase the background okay see the outlines are uh, removed now and you can just like the normal eraser you can erase it uh, or you can resize that uh, background eraser tool and you can uh, remove a larger area but still you can see somewhat very light uh, pixels you can see once it is removed because it takes a little time or else you, you know again and again you have to rub over there uh, to remove it uh, clearly so there is one option that is by using that lasso tool you just uh, uh, select that lighthouse roughly around make a selection around that light lighthouse picture and uh, once it is completed it will become a selection then you go to the uh, select and make it inverse and uh, just press delete to remove the background now you can see there is a, a transparent background there and what i am doing is i am uh, keeping some other image as a background there so just dra i drag the pic other picture to the the, the lighthouse uh, file and you can see the background which I imported is overlapping now so uh, when I changed the background layer to uh, the layer order I sent it to the behind that li lighthouse and you can see that is a completely transparent uh, region there so you can put any solid color you can put any image there suitable image so here this image you know I have to <coughs> scale it properly to hide that rock photo so yeah uh, so somewhat like this you can uh, rearrange the background okay you can you can put some other pictures as well very suitable picture so now uh, uh, now you see <coughs> the complete uh, th there is a change in the background so i'm hiding that now and uh, see uh, uh, something other otherwise you can take some uh, single color okay so for that you have to create a new layer by clicking on the new icon uh, in the layer panel and uh, you can apply some uh, solid color there okay the shortcut to apply uh, color is control backspace or alt backspace control backspace for foreground color and alt backspace for background color or else there is a filler um, paint bucket tool you can use that and you can paint over there like this okay there is a uh, gradient tool as well where uh, you can apply multiple colors so you go to the gradient preset and uh, you know just change the colors at least two colors you should have so you can apply the gradient like this okay so now it looks good this is called as a linear gradient so I, I can change the color even lighter or any color from the color palette I can select and uh, just give okay 
the second color I'm changing okay can be little darker to that uh, okay okay <coughs> yeah so this is a linear gradient which is applied to that light box and uh, <coughs> there are other options as well under gradient you have uh, radial see now what I applied is a radial uh, gradient uh, and uh, you can you can change the color area of a particular uh, gradient now again I'm drawing a gradient so you can see that the glow around at the top of that light uh, uh, lighthouse is more compared to the previous one so this is one method of changing the background uh, using the that or cutting the background uh, now I have one more picture here a girl standing uh, you know <coughs> in a beach here you cannot use that background uh, eraser that is because <coughs> it's not uniform color there so i'm using a pen tool here so just go to the pen tool shortcut is p and double click on the layer panel to uh, on layer icon to unlock it and you go on clicking uh <coughs> <coughs> with the path uh, uh, clicking around uh, that uh, picture okay so wherever is required you can hold alt and you can cut the vertex that is one side of that if it is a smooth straight line it is not required otherwise sometimes it is required see uh, okay so here hold alt and click okay uh, okay so this way you can <coughs> create a path so pen tool is basically use it to make an exact selection it's not just for cutting the uh, photographs but also it can be used to create some drawings as well but basically in photoshop we use it to cut uh, or to make a selection from the pictures uh, so here just go on creating a path around that uh, picture because I want to make a selection I want to separate that girl from that background okay so I want to remove the background so it may take some time to get uh, you know good hold over pen tool so you may have to practice over and over and again and again uh, for few <coughs> days otherwise <coughs> you know with just a mouse it is difficult to get the exact uh, selection there so <coughs> Uh, let me complete this uh, path selection uh, okay so you can use uh, the spacer bar tool to move or to pan the picture there and you can use control plus and control minus to zoom in and zoom out and uh, now that is the end of the selection so you can see a path is created around the that girl picture and just press control enter to make it as a selection now you can see the running marquee there and uh, just go to the selection and inverse it to make that beach picture as uh, a selection area so now hold shift and f6 to apply little feather or the outline blur to that and press delete to remove the background now you can see there it is alpha and uh, I have some other background opened here so I'm putting that as a background just like in how I did for the lighthouse picture so I'm doing it here as well uh, <coughs> so now this uh, this scenery is uh, above that girl picture so you can change the layer order and you can <coughs> keep that as a background okay you can resize the girl picture using control T okay you can reposition it <coughs> <coughs> now you can try out little uh, blur to the background so I'm applying here uh, lens blur okay lens blur uh, it's just it applies a little blur similar to the camera blur uh,
Okay. So, okay. Now that is done. Now I'm I'm changing to uh, changing the levels or the color scheme of that. So there are three channels because it's a RGB file. So you have th uh, red, green, and blue RGB uh, three channels. Just try out uh, by changing these values or parameters to get some uh, good output. And uh, okay, so I'm changing uh, now green, and you can see the change uh, behind there. Okay, okay, yeah. So there are some presets as well to increase the contrast. All these things, so you can try out those as well. Okay. So again, again, I'm going to the green channel and uh, <coughs> I'm doing some modification there with the color scheme, uh, color channel. Okay. Uh, yeah. So I think that is okay. Now click OK there uh, to finish that part. So again, thanks for watching this video. If you like this, please uh, subscribe my channel and uh, support me. Thank you.